ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. Thank you once again. Let's meet our panel. She is the Vice President of Media Relations at the Family Research Council, Genevieve Wood. Genevieve, hey. Hello. Hey, Good to see you. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> you will. He's a very funny comedian who recently appeared at the Aspen Comedy Festival with some Rick Harris, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, sir? Yeah. His new book is It's Only a Game. Easy to say when you have a Super Bowl, four Super Bowl rings. And I gotta say, this guy has the right attitude about sports in America. Terry Bradshaw is right over here. Good How are you, Mr. How you Green? Good to see you, sir. Yes, you do. Thanks for having me. The right attitude. And she's the star of American Pie 2 and also stars in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, opening August 24th. Shannon Elizabeth. Thank you for coming. Oh. Well, you, well, you know that's close to my heart. Yeah, me too. Okay. I'll wear anything for the animals, but <laughs> not right now because I have <laughs> oh, a small on. announcement. Tonight, I would like uh, to ask your help in an important project I've been working on to get this show more publicity, which it sorely needs. <laughs> that's why we're here. <laughs> and the problem, I will freely admit, is me. Let's be honest, the only way to get a nauseating, saturation amount of press attention is to have some sort of breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Rehab centers have never been fuller. There's one here in L.A. that all by itself right now has Paula Poundstone, Ben Affleck, and Robert Downey Jr., and those are just the above-the-line names. <laughs> the supporting cast is also quite impressive but no me. And it's not like I haven't tried. A few months ago, I planned to stage a fit of air rage on a flight to Vegas and defecate on the beverage cart. <laughs> but my luck, there was a line. <laughs> then last week, I woke up inside my neighbor's house with no memory of how I got there, and this morning it got worse. I woke up inside my neighbor. <laughs> Still no coverage. I wanted my friends to give me an intervention, but they were all too drunk. I thought of drowning myself, but I just filled the jacuzzi with fresh champagne. It seemed like a waste. <laughs> hey, I'm sick. I'm not nuts. <laughs> in fact, I figured out that what I needed to do is announce my breakdowns in advance if I really wanted to get some ink. Breaking down has become very competitive. Therefore, on Monday, I'll be at the Atomic Rooster on Santa Monica, <laughs> waving a handgun, fist fighting with customers, and choking on my own vomit. Now, <laughs> in case you've been living under a rock, this is a real cry for publicity. I mean help, so please spread the word. Tuesday, I'm going to, Tuesday, I'm going to break into a stranger's house and kick Robert Downey out of his bed. <laughs> Wednesday, I will be <laughs> I will be with the bad Backstreet Boy watching Mariah Carey strip. <laughs> so if anyone can break a hundred, that'd be helpful. <laughs> because that kid is cheap. Anyway, on Thursday, I'll be killing myself at the Chateau Marmont. I'll be there. At Friday. <laughs> Friday, I'll be killing myself at the Viper Room. <laughs> Saturday, no plans. Just drinks with Matthew Perry. Anyway. Uh, over the weekend, I oh. plan to hit rock bottom, check into rehab, find God. I should be back to work Monday. Now, um, <laughs> I bring this up because it does seem like this has been an extraordinary summer for rehab. <laughs> <laughs> and my question is, do people uh, who have been living the lifestyles of the rich and famous and then OD on it deserve our pity? I put it to you. To you. <laughs> you know what? I feel that it's it's the people down on down the street downtown that really need the help. They don't have the money maybe to get yeah. into rehab. They don't have a family support system. They don't have friends. They're the ones that really need our support more than the people that you figure are going to be okay. They have the money. They have the support system. They've got the the Malibu and best did, place to go. You know. And why do they need drugs anyway? 
Well, but that's the whole point. Though. <laughs> that's the whole point. I mean, it clearly shows that money obviously isn't the answer to everything. I mean, all these stories are coming out of Hollywood. These are people. I mean, Ben Affleck had the hit movie this summer. I mean, he's a famous actor. The whole thing. I mean, he's got a great life to the outside world, and it's amazing that these are often the ones that we see going into these rehab clinics. Yeah, the other thing too, the people you're talking about, Shannon, the people that that come up to your car when you go to a stop sign, you see them. They're walking down. I'm hungry, and and, and I see signs all over the place that say we're hiring. And, and then the people like Ben Affleck, and you know what? Pity? No, I, I, don't, I don't think pity well, is the word that I'm looking for. But, I mean, but, but I do, I do have, I, I do sympathize. Yeah, I do. I feel their pain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're hurting. I feel bad for Ben Affleck. I mean, he's been in three movies this year, and right before he went into rehab, he, uh, I think, won $300,000 on a weekend in Vegas. I pray to God for a drug problem like this. I would kill for this. Uh, he has the best drug problem I've ever heard of. I, I, I think it's sad that he's quitting at 29. I don't want to make this about him. He's got yeah, five more good years of him. He's got a lot of good drinking years ahead oh. of him. He... And, you know, I, 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 maybe not him. I don't want to make this about him. Yep. He, I, him, I think, maybe is a real case. But, I mean, some of these people, I mean, Mariah Carey, I don't know this lady. She's probably a nice person. But it seems to me that it's filled with self-importance, that breakdown. It's like she drove herself so hard because why? You had a new record. You had a new movie. It's not that important, except in your mind you think, my movie is important because my fans... But it's really your fans, what are they there for? To give you adoration, which well, is what you're really well, one of the on, problems is adoration. Yeah. Yeah, but one of the problems, I think people want to be successful. I don't care if it's a comedian, an actress, a writer, right. an activist, f uh, football, television. I, everybody wants to be successful. They don't necessarily count on being famous and having no life and I can only okay. I can't even but, imagine being someone like Ben Affleck but or if you but, go into acting that's that's what happens if you're successful acting, actor, you, have no, you're famous. you have no clue you're going to do all those things oh, I don't think you're, 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 you're not prepared Sarah. for that no one, no one goes into acting hoping to be the best if you're the best actor Sarah. in the world everyone knows who you are uh, that's true you're, 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 you're a, a no. look at the, cr the crowd couldn't even wait till you got out here before they started an ovation for you so don't oh, you know what that cost me you know what that cost me that cost me fifteen grand. Fifteen grand. But on the same note, you know, these people, their publicists are making announcements. They could go into rehab. Let's just go into Quiet. rehab. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Why yeah. does the publicist need to make yeah. a big statement and That's we want to put it out on the line? Right. Yeah, and they the also place. go to all they all go to the same places. It's all the thirty thousand dollars a month or thirty thousand dollars a night kind of place. I mean no, they don't go script together. Right. If, if it's it's good, I mean, I think it's good. Maybe it's good they come out in the sense that, you know, the, the populace obviously sees the publicity. They're like, oh, this is a guy who has a problem like me. Maybe it's good in that respect. But then they don't go to where the average Joe would go to get help. Yeah, I average. mean, how about to going to from, where somebody else is getting not help? To quote from a, a late, great right man, if you have $30,000 for rehab, you don't have a drug problem yet. <laughs> you know, I think you would have the money to have a drug problem. I, I mean, you know what? You figured out already. <laughs> you are ticked off right now. I don't even have yeah. to go to Malibu Promises. <laughs> right, they got a right. pool, they got a tennis court. I got a crappy studio apartment in Hollywood. Right. I, I don't have the money to get the drug problem to go into right. Malibu Promises. Right. <laughs> but here's why I have no pity is because, you know. You could do this, you could do this, even I could do this. We could indulge ourselves in pigging out on an ego. We could have people around us uh, who, w and people will say whatever you want to hear when you're up there. It's up to the individual to say, you know what, thank you for all kissing my ass. I know that's your job, <laughs> but I'm going to keep it real. That's every person's duty. Who's ben Affleck children. has never kept it real in his life. No, He's the I, whitest his man first on the planet. Movie basically with a hit, right? No, his I, first, what was his first movie. Oh, I mean, they they wrote, they wrote, yeah. You know. yeah, I don't know about him. <laughs> you don't no, want I don't to know, pick on Ben. He's a very bright guy. I know, yeah. uh, because maybe so, some people really are drunks. Yeah. 
Let me use that much. Thank respectful. God. <laughs> what, about, what about Robert Downey Jr.? I mean, where, what other career? Good. Yeah. What other career could you keep coming back and oh. getting jobs and be drunk and be high and keep But he's a brilliant actor. Oh, yes, exactly. Could, could you have gone on the football field and done that? Absolutely not. They I have did. thrown you. <laughs> been accused a lot of things, but you, never that. Yeah, you were at Pittsburgh Theater yeah, after right, all. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but the point is nobody else can get away with that. And yet right. he, time and again, and, and, the, and the culture here embraces him. Like they're doing him and I'm like, how about hiring somebody who's really down on I disagree life? with that. I don't, you know? I, 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 uh, I, I want him healed. I want him well. Sure. Forget the fact that he's a brilliant actor. And it's not that I'm embracing him. It's the fact that I, I want him to get help and I want him to get healed. Now, if, if it's out acting and everything that he gets to you, we all say, Robert Downey, this is a suffering, sick human being. No, that's he, true. He needs help. But, but, baby, but, but the fact no. he's been able to carry it no. on, though, because he keeps getting jobs again. I mean, he's been able to afford so what's the to answer? have it. So what are you going to do? So the next time he gets well, busted, so we're going to help you, happen? Robert, but we're not going to put you back on TV and make you a star in no, a hit it's series. Not, it's not, he's not a pilot. No. He's not an astronaut. Let him do some code. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a Harry McDeal. Not even on that. And the drugs he doesn't bump into the scenery. That's a good show. And the drugs are a symptom. They're not the root. The root problem is I'm Robert Downey Jr., whoever, and I'm going to let everyone give me drugs, kiss my ass, and take me where I want to go. That's the root of the problem. Is pigging out on ego. Ego is the biggest drug in the world. Yeah, Excuse okay. me, Terry, I've got to speak now. We've got to take a break. <laughs>Indulging yourself, you know. August is a World Breastfeeding Awareness Month. All right. Month. <laughs> you know that. I like that. That's world I breastfeeding asked, so where, awareness. Who decided that? Where, who came up with that being a the, good the idea? People from the World Breastfeeding Awareness Society. <laughs> because we're anyway, not aware of it already. We're not. A, well, you know what? That's the point. Is that people indulge themselves? There's a lawsuit that started uh, last week in Florida because a woman. This happened before. In uh, I think it was Borders Books. A woman breastfeeds in public, and customers get upset about it. And I would be one of those customers. I think it's ridiculous that people think that just because something is a pressing natural need, you could I could think of others. <laughs> Does it really offend you seeing a woman pull her boob out for. in public though? Don't all guys like that? Not if there's a baby it attached on to it. it. <laughs> <laughs> if there's Depends somebody who it is, Shannon. I mean, if there's there somebody in line people. ahead of me, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean. Wow, picky, picky, aren't we? <laughs> Take what you can get, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this is good. These are good. Yeah. You stay over here. With yeah. 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 I mean, when you put it, when you couch it that way, of course, we're all picturing you doing it, and it, then it becomes a, a moot point. <laughs> Next question. But, um, but I think it's part and parcel of this attitude that, you know, it's my need, and therefore everyone else, especially when it comes to children, we should all be honored that someone is helping a child. But really, it's a private thing. And it should be done privately, like farting or masturbating or pissing. Thanks. Those are also natural You can't needs. tell me you have not you farted don't. in public. You can't tell me you have not done that. This is, uh, I'll, I'll give you the answer, and this is sad at our age. This yeah. is the right answer. Not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not intentionally. I, I think farting should be like uh, taking a dump. You should go into the for bathroom. It. For what? <laughs> Fla flagellating? No, bre no, breast no I think breastfeeding. No, I. You know what? In public. I. You know if you, you've got a child there. If you want to breastfeed your child, breastfeed your child. I know there are places you can go, but. I'm not offended by it. I have seen it many times. And, I mean, a woman breastfeeding her child, I go on, a, I just move on. I'm not, it's not anything I'm interested in. She's taking care of her responsibilities. Every two hours, your child. child needs to be yeah. fed when Feed they're them. that age. You Feed need them. to take care of them. They depend on you. And you can't always run to a bathroom or run home to do it. You need to think of their well-being. The they, people that are griping about this are probably the same people that won't even vote. So, <laughs> you know.
Let him have non voters. I we're a very all. big we're a very big majority. <laughs> there, what, this uh, was in Walmart. <laughs> well, but a lot of these places, I mean a lot of stores, apartment stores and places now have in the in the women's bathroom, they have like a chair in an area where there is right. for breasts. I mean if, if they have that I think it ought to be encouraged. They have a women's People bathroom. That. That's enough. Well so there are well, different ways to do it. it. They right. can they be, be discreet. discreet. They should be discreet. Just going to another room. You shouldn't be doing it in the in the underwear section. Well, you should be staring in the underwear section. If a woman has her breasts out I'm looking. Oh. He is the only one here with earrings and leather pants. So that, ex I mean, come on, I'm right here off the bat. I, I've got it figured out already right here. This is cool. So so I'm in a place to whip out a breast, yeah. and that, of course, is Bourbon Street. Don't they normally Rock. have a, don't they normally, though, have a blanket or a, a special yeah, bra or something well, like that? I a mean, special bra. Yeah, well, I yeah but I don't, I mean, I don't know, but... Problem. I mean, the majority of the women today, I think, breastfeed, and I don't. You don't see this everywhere. I mean, why? I don't understand why there's this need because for because someone objected wants. in right. Walmart, and they said, you know what, lady, you got to leave because a uh, customer objected, and now the lady is suing. You know, if that's, well, that's the worst thing you see in Walmart, I think you're having a good day. <laughs> yeah, right, we got to take a break. That's probably true. <laughs> about what you can uh, do in public. Get this, you know, there's a city called Temple Terrace, Florida. I never heard of it, but they made news because it's the first city that has uh, made a decree that nobody who works for the city can smoke. You have to sign a pledge that says you are not a smoker. If they find out you're lying. Even if you're smoking at home, they can fire you. They say smokers drive up insurance costs, take too many sick days, too many breaks. You cannot smoke. You cannot be, that is your personal habit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a smoker, are you? Oh. <laughs> Were you ever? No. 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 Well, I was <laughs> for 20 years, and I enjoyed every one. Still do it? Still no, it? but I wish I could. Yeah. It's a great pleasure. But, you know. And it's your right as an American to do it if you want to. I mean, I, th this is just the smoke Nazis are everywhere. I think it's almost like we should take up smoking as a political statement. There are plenty of things that cause health insurance to go up. People that can be overweight. There's certain uh, sexual uh, things that people do that increase. <laughs> this is the family show. Hold it right that there. Increase. That you increase. You can actually smoke. smoke. Something to make my you. My point is, you can't fire any of those people or tell them they can't be hired. But smokers, it's like everybody is out to get them. And last time I checked, it's still legal. But they I do a drug it. test, and it's and smoking can be like a drug. It's addiction. Well, yeah, but so it's legal. Marijuana so is, is not sugar, legal. So I mean, right. So I mean, there's so plenty of stuff. Alcohol. Those are all legal. Those are all fine. There are plenty of people don't who don't make... take care of themselves who don't smoke. Why don't we just make smokers wear a little ashtray right. patch on their lapels <laughs> like the Jews? I mean, it's, it's getting to the point now. In L.A., you can't smoke in a bar. Thank you know, God, because you, you know what? The smoke kills the people around you more than you. I, I don't want to be around someone who's smoking. I can't stand when I go somewhere where there's smoke everywhere. First, That's stop yelling. Second, <laughs> you know what? You are, you're in, you are in a bar drinking tequila, trying to have sex with someone you don't know. But you can't have a smoke. I mean, it's, it's, it's illogical. And yeah. why do you need this smoke? She's because really you trying. Down? What's the problem? <laughs> because I'm drunk. When you're drunk, you need a cigarette. Well, and there's nothing wrong with charging them more in health care costs. But the no. point is, where does it stop? I mean, where do you stop at somebody's personal life and what you can't do in your own home? Yes, I was amazed where do you to stop? see you there defending gay people almost, although you wouldn't say the word. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that's right. No, but Isn't that what you were saying when you were getting, you said there were certain sexual things uh, <laughs> that are health risky? Promise what were you purity, talking about? Well, promise okay. STDs go both ways, but the point being is that if you live a very, lead a very promiscuous lifestyle, right. you have a much higher chance of getting a sexually transmitted disease. And but, I mean, probably but, a do, but do your okay. employers get to hang out? <laughs> But do your employers get to hang out and see how many people you have sex with? I mean, I, I'm not encouraging that that's a good lifestyle, but the point being is, where do you stop and draw the line at what people can and can't do? The thing that bothered me in the sheet that they gave me was they said, if you're found smoking cigarettes, you will be fired immediately. 
if they find you smoking pot, they will refer you to counsel. <laughs> That's so America. the illegal That's drug why I'm is on my fun. rehab tour. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. Barry, there's your book. Wow. Shannon, I'm going to wear your hat now. This is Animal of Interest, right? It's beautiful on you, yes. Claude Thank you. Dear to both of our hearts, rescuing animals. Speaking of animals, who's going to win the Super Bowl, Terry? <laughs> uh, you know what? Cowboys. Well, there's the voice of Cowboys. You think I care? Cowboys. 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 Cowbo